Hello, my name is Walter, and welcome to a review for you. Uh, and a very special hello to you, my love fans, my little subscribers, my fellow dungeon masters. Uh, this time it is a review for you guys, and I just got out of a very, 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 very fucking long movie. Okay, it it's no joke. All right, I felt like I was in there for like three hours. You know how they say like. <laughs> Michael Bay movies like make you feel like you're in there for like five hours at most and like six if he adds on one more action uh, and action sequence and uh, this movie just like dragged its fucking feet around man and it just had a simple message which was there is a line between accountability and your privacy you know one is not without the other because accountability equals to you know people having to answer for whatever they've done you know this and that but not everything needs to be out there in the world today so you know for example like me you know i didn't really need to do youtube and i didn't really need to tell you guys like all of my you know stories and all of that thing but i decided to do that because i wanted to build a community i want to build a fan base uh, but you know some people might not want that you know that's why they keep their their identity hidden that's why they don't want to keep it a mystery sort of or you know they just want to protect their privacy which is understandable too you know if you don't want to become famous you know or you know you don't want your face being plastered everywhere there is a certain there is a certain line between like being forcefully out there and also enjoying your time alone so uh, this is just a movie about that like is your time alone worth sacrificing for like better sort of stuff like say uh you know faster health care because the robot knows that you are sick and you know they, they can immediately dispense um uh you know medicine meanwhile uh on the f other flip side of the coin you know you have people who just want to rest or like just want to chill out on their own but you know the robot is disturbing you because it thinks that it should be with you at all times to ensure your safety as if you know you don't know how to be safe for yourself and uh, there is a legitimately stupid point in this movie i think it was the scene where she goes out into the ocean by herself and she doesn't wear a fucking life jacket and i was like why didn't you take a life jacket just steal it you already stole the fucking kayak steal the fucking life jacket that's just something which i don't really understand but i have to give this movie something and i think i'll give it a bone and say the visuals were nice i think they were really going for that black mirror feel like that black mirror feel and you know it did okay with that but it is one hour and 50 minutes long and it feels like double that time so i'll bring it up to two hours here and i'll say it feels like it's about like four hours at the least like it really feels that long and it just, it just dragged and dragged and dragged um there is a difference between having a point and just hammering it out because you want your audience to understand where you're coming from and where i'm coming from is more of a review or a criticism of this film which is that you didn't need one hour and 50 minutes to explain this to your audience like they're stupid we are not stupid uh, and film is supposed to be a visual mean where you are supposed to let your you know you let your audience look at it and go okay i got it move on that's it uh that's all you need to do and uh this movie didn't do it i'll give it this though it's a perfect vacation movie for the actors and actresses because they seem to just want it to be um i'm sorry my siri turned on um and uh they just wanted to be on a vacation so they took this movie and uh used it as a vacation excuse um that guy 
uh, in the movie he was very familiar I'm sorry I didn't look him up but I'm going to look him up right now hold on uh, the circle right and uh, this movie is just you know it's not really good it's not really bad it's just I'm very in the middle of it like I don't really enjoy it uh, I think 5.3 out of 10 is very fair for this movie yeah John Boyega was in this movie I, I noticed that I was like yeah that's John Boyega uh, okay Dan no uh, uh, no there there was a guy in this movie yeah Patton Oswalt okay uh, that was the um, the partner, so called, to the uh, to the founder. Or uh, uh, no, so uh, there is a main bad guy here. I'm gonna say it's bad guy because you know it's Tom Hanks, and you know usually it's he plays a good guy, but in this case, you know he's more of the bad guy leaning on good guy leaning on bad guy thing, cause like. Where do you, where does the line take you, man? You know, it tries to go all deep with you and shit. But it's just a basic college freshman trying out his uh, philosophy with you. And uh, he just goes ham with it. Like, he just doesn't know what he's talking about. And he just keeps saying, but no, we should have more uh, privacy, man. Like, like, nowadays, there's too many people with those handphones and like they like take the pictures and take take the videos and like sometimes they don't use it well and like they spread the wrong message I like uh 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 but also maybe it's good so take it with a grain of salt I know some of you guys like it my sister like this for the life of me I cannot understand that but but again I will give it the fact of, I will give it the pleasure of saying, at least you have the visuals going. And I'm sorry, John Boyega, you chose the wrong movie. I hope you get better work in the future. Be not because of this, but because you are such a likable character. And if in this movie, he really, just, he really is trying. Here, Emma Watson. I don't know what what happened to you maybe you shouldn't be an actress anymore go do your modeling I don't care because you do not look invested in this like in every scene she's just looking in the distance like and that's it like <laughs> that's most what she's doing and I, do, I just don't get it I just was she ever good? Like, why are we pushing Emma Watson when we should be pushing Emma Stone? She's prettier, she can act more. You know, a lot of people didn't like La La Land, you know, there was backlash on it. And I understand, you know, with every famous movie nowadays, you gotta have the backlash. Um, but Emma Stone can really act. Like, she is... To me, I thought she should have been in this movie because she did um, Spider-Man and she could pull out that whole scientist thing and I think she could have called out Tom Hanks' bullshit. That's all I'm saying. And I think we needed more of the drama. Like, usually I would say, okay, there's too, many, too much drama in this. Uh, but I think we needed more of the drama, honestly. I would have... I would have... I wouldn't have minded if they, thrown, uh, they had thrown in a... More of an rom uh, more of a romantic angle at this because there's literally nothing going on for itself except for its self masturbatory uh, commentary, which is you know there is a line between uh, privacy and having too much data out there. So uh, of course there's allegories about you know Hillary Clinton, but I'm not gonna go there because I'm an outsider and I don't really want to talk about that. It's a big no no for me because you know I I I can't really comment on that because I I don't know what's going on in your country, but I will say that this is a very good depiction of the dystopian kind of future. I really love the sets they went to. 
I really love the visuals that they used for the, you know, the circle sense thing, the sense whatever. I I don't know. I forgot the movie. See, I, it left no impact on me, and that's such a travesty for a movie not to leave an impact for you. Because even Pan, okay, my most hated movie, hate 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 that movie. And of course, The Fallen, that I was more disgusted at than hate. I, I just couldn't. I wanted to punch the fucking director in the face. Okay, I, I, I can't understand. Why do you put a movie called The Fallen and talk about angels, but then you also talk about the romance, and then you just go ham with the fucking direction? Like, who does that? Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Fuck that movie, The Fallen. Fuck it. I hate that movie. I really hate it. I couldn't go really mad now because there's people outside. And I just... Mm. Ow. Fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, see, at least that left an impact on me. And I keep on thinking about how it made me mad. It just went under my skin. But this movie is just... Meh. Um... I would say go buy like go buy the DVD if you really wanted to see this movie properly and you know give the proper credits to the director producer whatever oh my god there was so many producers in this movie they got anal fucked really like this movie got anal fucked and I think like it was banking on the fact that you know the movie was gonna be super smart and Oh, we have, we have Black Mirror, right? It can, it can totally be a spin-off of Black Mirror. But no, Black Mirror is so much smarter and so much better in immersing you into the whole, like, sense of the world. Like, in that world, you are in that world, you are the character. And you go on that journey with that character. It sets it up, it tells you visually, and then it goes consequence, 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 consequence. This is just talk, 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 consequence. That's it. So yeah, guys, that was my review uh, of the circle. I don't even know if I'm gonna put effort into this. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna put the titles and the, the credits because this movie didn't really did warrant it uh, but I'm gonna do maybe another afterthought about Samurai Jack I'm not sure yet because I really do want to talk about the finale but I can only talk about the last like third because that's where things get more interesting for me for me and anyway, because uh, this was uh, the circle, and uh, I hope you enjoyed my more uh, like the like 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 relaxed uh, thing. Because I'm not going to be as calm as I will be for this movie. Like this movie kind of irked me a little bit. Maybe that's how it leaves an impact. It just like goes so average that it works you kind of like the nerve kind of like the nerve anyway that's about it guys see you in the next episode